Finance tracking is, for me at least, is something that I consider is stress relief. I built this habit of tracking my finance for the last uh, for the last year actually, and I've been trying to find. I did some research to find out, um, you know, the existing platform that helps me to automate the process of tracking the finance, but unfortunately, um, either I found like something very complex or something very naive. So um, therefore, I built this application called Finance, uh, which is basically, it's a very simple but powerful self-hosted application that you can host on your own with your own uh, full control of privacy uh, that helps you to track and uh, automate the process of reading the SMS transactions because this is what I was looking for. And of course, generate some useful data for um, to know where is your money is going or from where you generate your income. So I'm sharing this application with you. I'm using it for myself and I hope that you found it useful as well. So um, if you go to the GitHub repository, you will find all the details, all the essential details uh, that you need to know about the project, about the capabilities and how to install it on your machine. So without further ado, let's get started and see what is the basic um, of this application before we get to the installation process. So if you visit here, you can see that you can access the live demo from here. And if you go to the live demo, uh, right now it's you know just a dummy account. You can log in there and you will see that uh, it redirects you to the dashboard. However, right now there's no transactions added yet. So you see nothing here. So I added the bunch of several examples here. Like you can see housing, groceries, utilities, transportation, and so on. Brands, on the other hand, is where you purchase or where you pay or you get that amount. For instance, the brand can be like uh, Carrefour, Ikea, um, McDonald's, and so on and so forth. So I put this um, brand because I, I live in, in UAE and I have these brands, so uh, it's useful for me. But feel free to edit, update, delete uh, any of the existing brands uh, or actually, we can start, start with a fresh application uh, without any data and you can customize it on your own. Um, moving on to the transactions. Transaction basically is um, the transaction associated, the transaction that you, you, you normally do. And you can create it manually here. For instance, you can say um, you spend 100 dirhams. Okay, I'm going to show you how to configure the currency. You spend 100 dirhams, um, let's say today, on... I don't know, uh, IKEA, for instance. Once you create it, it will create the record just as expected. And you can, of course, delete it, edit it. It's up to you. However, this is not the, you know, the full picture of this project. What I wanted initially is a way to automatically parse the data from the SMS messages that I received from the bank. So I'm going to show you an example how, how I receive the SMS transactions and how this software or application uh, will help us to helps us to um, automate adding these transactions from these um, SMS. So normally I receive this SMS as follow. For my bank, I receive three different uh, templates, like either like something added to my account or an offline purchase or online payment. So starting with the salary, as you can see here, salary of something has been credited to your account, dot, 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 dot. dot. Um, purchase of amount something uh, using this credit card or debit card um, at specific brand. So I want this software to read this data and based on this data, like amount, brand and a bunch of other stuff, I want to generate the transactions and it will be like very uh, fast process instead of manually creating the transactions because it's very tedious. So let's take an example of IKEA here. I'm going to just copy this one and then I'm going to go to SMS parser. Right now there's no SMS, of course, but if you click on parse SMS, right now it will show you that the available templates that the system will understand as follow or are listed here. Purchase of something, payment something, and brand something. So I'm going to paste this one and we will see once we click on parse, and you can see that it's valid. That means the transaction associated with it will is generated. So if you go to transactions now, you see that it's added from IKEA and the amount is 20 as um, from here, from the SMS. 
So that's, I think, very, very nice way of automating the finance tracking. And once you've done that, after like a couple of weeks, couple of months, you'll have a very nice history of how much you spend on a certain category or from where you get your income or where you spend your money. So for that, you go to the dashboard and here you will see a bunch of different uh, reports that are really useful. Um, for instance, if you want to know like how much you made in general for the last month or this month or current year, last year. Same thing for expenses, okay? Same thing if you want to know like, okay, uh, how much I got per specific category in the expenses or how much I spent per specific category. Like you have the total expenses, okay? But under the expenses, you have different categories. For instance, let's say in this case, just one category, but let's uh, go and create another one just for the sake of example. Let's say I purchased um, 200 uh, this month and it is from carry for groceries. You see here, it's associated with groceries. And once I create it, of course, if I go back to the reports, I see this report is updated automatically. And it says, okay, you spend 200 dirhams in total this month on groceries and 120 dirhams on shopping this month. I can filter out by last month, uh, current year, last year. So it's very useful to know uh, and optimize. It's a nice way to optimize if you want to optimize for a certain category, let's say you want to increase your, uh, incre decrease your uh, uh, spend on a certain category, you can know and predict that. So um, again, the main point is to be able to generate these SMS very nicely. So I'm gonna copy this one and I'll show you something here. Some of the brands are there already registered. So you don't need actually to think about all the brands and enter them, you can just, paste your SMS as long as they are valid template. And then if the brand is new to the system, it will be highlighted in red and you can update it or associate the category with it. So the next time it will understand it and know it. So just to clarify what I'm talking about, if you go to SMS parser, parse here, and I'm gonna paste all the SMS here. Some of them, some of these brands, like I think um, uh, Amazon and Google, are not there the rest are there so we should expect google and amazon will be highlighted in red so let's do that parse all of them valid perfect if i go now to transactions i see all the transactions added uh, however you can see that for this one amazon and google um, they don't have any type so they don't affect the reports actually unless you specify the brand cat the brand's category so if you go there, you see that these two are highlighted and normally you see them at the top. Um, you click on Google and then you assign the category. If you don't find the category, you can create one. So in this case, Google for me is online payment or internet subscriptions, for instance. I don't know. So let's create the category first. Internet subscriptions and its expenses. Now, if I go to brands, it's just one time job this way. Uh, so the next time if you purchase from, if you made a payment to Google, the system will automatically know that. So I'm going to select that. Okay. Google is internet subscription and Amazon maybe is, sorry, is, I don't understand. sorry, I have Google here. So, and uh, Amazon is, um, let's say shopping update. All right. So if I go to transactions, I see all of them here. And if you go to the dashboard, of course, I see all the details. I can see that total income is 2000, which is from this SMS and total expenses is this much and other reports that we will talk about in a different video. So that's all in terms of the basic usage and functionalities. We will talk about the customiz customizations in different videos, but for now, let's head over to the installation process and see how it's easy to uh, set up it in your machine. So you can choose either to install it via Docker or via uh, like as a normal Laravel application. For me, I'm gonna choose the Docker uh, way, which is very straightforward, very simple. All you have to do is follow these steps, just copy them, paste them in, in your terminal and you're good to go. So the first one is to clone the project. And the next one is to generate the environment variable. And then for this one, you need to create or install the dependencies. Since you don't have 
Composer, you can run this one. If you have Composer, just run Composer installed. So I'm going to paste this one here. It will take a little bit. And then I will serve the application. All right, it's done. So um, I'm going to run the application using this term, this command. And then next, I have to generate the application key. Straightforward. And then run the migration. I think in my case, it will be no migration added. Or so nothing to migrate. Uh, but um, what I can do is actually, yeah, it's okay. I think I'm gonna start fresh. So migrate fresh, just for my case, because I run it previously. In your case, it will be just migrate. So next, you just need to run the final command here, which will ask you to create the user. Since there is no way to register from the GUI, you have to uh, register and create the um, admin user or the root user from this uh, command, which is very nice. Here you provide the name, email, and password. So in my case, it will be salim, salim at test.com, and password would be just this. And then it will ask you, do you want to generate um, the uh, default brands and categories. So it's up to you if you want to generate them, the one you saw them already here in the demo, these. Okay, if you want to generate them, you can just press yes. If no, you can start with a fresh application uh, by typing no. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm gonna press yes. And then it will ask you if you want to support the project. I appreciate if you do. Um, so for now, I'm gonna skip this one. And then that's all. You can go now to, the, to your browser and type localhost. You'll see it will ask you to enter uh, your email and password to log into the system. So I'm going to type salim at test.com. And password is this. Okay, so I have a, like a fresh installed application on my system. And the same thing as I, I explained before, you can create the transactions, you can modify brands, let's say, you want to delete certain brand, uh, you just click on delete, that's all. Uh, you can modify um, and so on and so forth. So I hope you like this video and I hope you enjoy this application as much as I do. Uh, please feel free to uh, like it, give it a star and sponsor it if, if you wish.